Yeah, it was like a case report about a patient with breast cancer along with a literature review. Um, and according to the UK statistics, um, if we have a hundred women with breast cancer, we expect that 80 of them will live to five years uh, and about 75 of them will live 10 years or longer after being diagnosed with a breast cancer. So living prolonged time with a breast cancer, it's just a spectacular, yeah, isn't it? Definitely, it, yes. But for the oncologist, it tips up the scales of medicine because in medicine, the rule is the common is common. And the breast cancer, the common size of spread is to lung, bone, liver. Uh, but uh, uh, as an oncologist, if you need that, uh, uh, in a 30 per 30% of breast cancer patients, uh, you can diagnose a spread to the eye, which means that you should expect the unexpected. I believe that this research work can interact, that can attract uh, not only the oncologist, but the GB and the ophthalmologist as well, because we found that 38 cases of the total 94 cases included in the analysis uh, showed the, the eye metastasis as the first sign of their cancer. So I think it is a red flag to the primary care doctors um, to um, just put the eye symptoms uh, as a red flag to cancer uh, when they treat, when they face a patient at the first point of the diagnosis. For treating oncologists, uh, it's worth to mention that a considerable number of cases uh, uh, just uh, present with the eye metastasis as the only site of progression. What I want to highlight is that while you're treating cancer, always follow the golden rule is that um, have the benefit of doubt. Uh, that means that whatever the symptom you have, you should thoroughly investigate, even if it is a mild conjunctivitis, because um, cancer is the emperor of all maladies and also it behave unexpected. Back to the professional discussion, uh, I have three W's to discuss. The first W is that who? Who is a breast cancer patient I predict to diagnose eye metastasis? Eh? The answer is the hormone positive breast cancer. Because uh, um, we found that almost all cases uh, were hormone positive eh, when diagnosed with eye metastasis. Eh? And also it come unexpected because um, it is well known that the hormone positive breast cancer is of better prognosis eh, compared with the hormone negative one. It could be related to the prolonged survival of breast cancer patient with hormone positive, eh? but it is just a speculation because there is no evidence eh, on that. The second W is when to expect the diagnosis of eye metastasis in a lady with a breast cancer. And the answer is no one can say because in the review of the literature, we presented that, that the time interval between eh, the first diagnosis of eye metastasis and breast cancer lies in a wide range uh, from one month to 25 years, uh, which means that uh, um, there is no uh, like uh, uh, a very nadir time when the patient could have breast cancer, could have eye metastasis of breast cancer, but it's just a wide range. Uh, but most of cases uh, have their eye metastasis within the five years uh, of their early diagnosis with breast cancer. The second W is what to do. And I think it is the biggest W ever. And it is the aim of this review to document uh, that uh, the treatment approach uh, over 10 years back, uh, the patient with eye metastasis was, were overtreated with chemotherapy, which resulted in a modest benefit. Uh, but while exploring cases that published uh, uh, three years back and going on, uh, there is a trend towards implementation of the new hormonal targets uh, in, in treating patients with eye metastasis, uh, which resulted in an excellent outcome up to complete response. And the fourth W, I think, but it is not related to the authors, it's related to Zarida. What is unique about this review, when you, when you mentioned that uh, you include cases 20 years back, so what is unique about your work, and definitely it is a logic question. And to be honest, it is one of the reviewer comments to this, uh, uh, to this research work. And the answer is that uh, it is the only review to our knowledge to include cases that from 20 years, but also to cases published to early up to early 2021. And this 
both at the hand of the reader, the very recent published cases uh, coming with the following fruitful outcomes. Uh, first, to recognize the difference in treatment approach uh, based on the introduction of the CDK4-6 inhibitor, and which led to the improvement in symptom of patient and the overall outcome of the disease. Uh, and to collect all available cases uh, in, one, in one place, um, which uh, uh, facilitates the rough comparison between different treatment approach. We know that uh, we can't just compare condition by condition due to different circumstances, uh, but it could have uh, a, to give a background uh, about the outcome of different treatments. Uh, uh, and also, uh, we target the guide, guidelines review committee to include uh, the eye metastasis in non-visceral crisis because when patient with hormone positive breast cancer presented with a visceral crisis, um, chemotherapy is mandatory, but not elsewhere in disease progression. The problem with the eye metastasis is the symptom is very annoying to the patient, uh, making the patient and the doctor very concerned about rapid response that push the treating physician towards chemotherapy, which you proved to have a very modest benefit uh, compared to the new target agent like CDK4-6 inhibitor, which had a very good outcome with excellent response in the published cases. And our local experience in the case report we presented is a clear example about um, the lack of benefit of chemotherapy in those cases. Uh, as our patient continued to progress under chemotherapy, but unfortunately, the lack of resources blocked her access to the CDK4-6 inhibitor. And sadly, she passed away because of the disease progression and with, along with a poor quality of life. So if we can conclude that uh, research paper, we can uh, have a three, three bullets. First, the, the eye metastasis of breast cancer origin is not a rare uh, event and we have to suspect uh, when the patient presents with a relevant symptom. Second, uh, uh, we don't we don't have to be rushed to our chemotherapy based on the very annoying symptoms the patient presented with. Uh, uh, having the fact that chemotherapy have no effect uh, on those cases. Uh, third, uh, we we highlight uh, the, the the need for uh, adding the eye metastasis uh, as a separate entity in the guidelines uh, to have the, the evidence for the treating doctors uh, not to give chemotherapy and just rely on the new uh, uh, hormonal uh, treatment uh, and subsequent hormonal lines uh, is the best in these cases. Mm -hmm.